If you want to stream your Quest 2 gameplay, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that using a computer, phone, or TV. It doesn't matter if you want to just show off some VR to a friend or a family member, or if you're looking to stream on Twitch. By the end of this video, you'll know how to do both like a pro. So without wasting any more time, let's dive in. In my opinion, the best way to stream your gameplay is by using a computer. Not only is it incredibly easy to set up, but it should also provide the highest quality video. To get started, go to oculus.com slash casting and log into your Meta account. Next, put on your Quest 2 and select the camera icon. Then select Cast, click Computer, and then Next. Once you click Next, your Quest 2 display will appear on your computer. Don't worry if it doesn't happen instantly, it usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds. At that point, you could adjust the video, making it widescreen, or turn on the audio. If you want to stream on Twitch, all you have to do is download the Twitch Studio app and select the browser window as your gameplay source. The MetaQuest smartphone app is the next best option to cast your gameplay. Make sure that the headset's turned on. If you're showing someone else VR, have them put the headset on. Then all you have to do is open up the MetaQuest smartphone app, click Menu, and then Casting. Then select your headset and wait for it to say Connected. Once it's connected, click Start and the Quest display should load on your phone. From there, you could record the video or even launch a game in your library. Now if you want that display shown on your TV, you're technically supposed to have a Chromecast. If you do have a Chromecast, that's great, it will show up as a casting option, just like the computer and phone. However, if you don't have a Chromecast, there is still another way, although it's a little janky and you do need a smart TV. You can actually mirror your display to your TV. If you have an iPhone, swipe down and select the icon that looks like a box within a box and then select your TV. Each Android phone might be a little bit different, but as long as your phone was made anywhere in the last five years, you should have a mirror option. You might just have to Google how to find it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment them down below. Until next time, this is Andy's VR Reviews.